Welcome to Digital Expert. As part of Budget 2024, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharam announced that 1 crore households will receive 300 units of free electricity through rooftop solar scheme. So solar energy is going to be a major source of electricity moving forward. With India's renewable energy capacity expected to exceed 450 gigawatts by the end of the decade, solar energy is set to play a dominant role, accounting for over 60% of the total capacity. Two months ago, I uploaded a video about eight solar stocks to invest. The stocks I am going to discuss today will be the second part of that video. These are the stocks which I discussed in the previous video. Click the i button to watch that video or you can get the link from the description or the pinned comment. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also share my videos with your friends and family and anyone who might be interested. So let's get started. The first stock is India's premier hydroelectric generation company. The primary focus of this stock is the generation sale of bulk power to various utilities across India. They have an installed capacity of 7097 megawatt, contributing a substantial 15% to India's hydro power generation. Recently, this stock commissioned a 380 megawatt solar power project in Rajasthan. This stock is a mini Ratna category 1 public sector company. The market cap of the stock is 91,581 crores. The stock I am talking about is NHPC. This stock is actively engaged in the construction of 15 solar and hydro power projects, totaling a 10,449 megawatt capacity. A significant portion of its capacity is under construction and is dedicated to the solar power. NHPC is planning to set up 1,200 megawatt solar park project in Uttar Pradesh at 797 crore investment. NHPC under the Ministry of Power is currently the largest hydropower developer organization in India. But now the company is focusing more on projects from wind and solar. They also have backed an order from Gujarat State Electricity Corporation for a 200 megawatt solar energy project at 846 crores. The current stock price is 91 rupees. Price to earnings ratio is 24.64, higher than sector P ratio of 22.69. Debt to equity ratio is lower than 1. Return on equity for the last financial year was 9.98%. Analysts have given 83% buy rating for the stock. The next stock is a solar energy company. This stock provides low carbon energy solutions. They specialize in solar energy solutions for industrial and commercial customers. This stock was listed last year in August 2023. This company is a key player in the renewable energy sector. They provide on-site solar project installations such as rooftop and ground mounted systems. This company mainly handles engineering, requirement, construction, and operation of solar projects. The market cap of the stock is 2,639. The stock I am talking about is Oriana Power. Oriana Power has set up 17 subsidiary companies and each subsidiary focuses on different solar power projects. This stock is India's leading solar energy supplier. They specialize in constructing and operating solar projects for industrial and commercial customers, including solar parks, floating solar projects, and ground-mounted solar projects. Oriana Power has recently backed orders worth 17 crores for a floating solar project. They have also backed an order worth 325 crores from a construction engineering firm for a solar project. The current stock price is 1,375 rupees. Price to earnings ratio is 241.35, higher than sector P ratio of 67.44. Debt to equity ratio is lower than 1. This stock has good potential, so keep this stock in your watch list. The next stock is a company dealing with clean energy and electrical vehicles. This stock provides EPC and solar advisory services. This company is on a mission to revolutionize the renewable energy sector. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the PM Suryodhan Yojana to install rooftop solar panels on the houses of middle and poor class citizens, providing 1 crore households with 300 units of free electricity every month. So this stock is to benefit the most from this program. The market cap of the stock is 3,487 crores. The stock I am talking about is Densol Engineering. They have three key segments, EPC, EV manufacturing and EV leasing. Their solar solutions span across engineering, procurement and construction, covering ground mounted and rooftop solar power plants. They have a combined capacity exceeding 590 megawatts. Densol takes solar management to the next level with comprehensive monitoring and analyzing. The order book for the EPC business alone stood at an impressive 1,025 crores. Gensol has an experience of over 1,470 plus megawatt solar PV design engineering. They have a team of 90 plus project engineers and 60 plus design engineers. Gensol has recently backed new orders from NHPC, Maharashtra State Power Generation, 
and show the energy and minerals. The current stock price is 920 rupees. Price to earnings ratio is 82.64. Higher than sector P ratio of 34.84. Debt equity ratio is higher than 1. Return on equity for the last financial year was 9.43%. The next stock has been playing an important role in providing financial assistance for renewable energy projects. This company offers a comprehensive range of financial products and services starting from projects start to end for renewable energy projects and other value chain activities. This also includes loans for equipment manufacturing and transmission. So this is a PSU stock. The market cap of the stock is 42,305 crores. The stock I am talking about is Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited or IREDA. So this stock has been actively involved in financing projects across multiple renewable energy sectors such as solar power, wind power, hydropower, transmission, biomass and waste to energy. IREDA has a diverse portfolio across 23 states and 5 union territories in India. The credit rating of IREDA is not worthy with 93.41% of the secured assets. This company is a wholly owned Government of India enterprise under the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. This company has been consistently recognized for its excellence and outstanding contributions to the renewable energy sector. So this stock is the first Indian financial institution to raise the green masala bonds in 2017. The current stock price is 160 rupees. The price to earnings ratio is 122, higher than a sector P ratio of 19.30. Debt to equity ratio is higher than 1. Return on equity for the last financial year was 11.56%. The next stock is a leading player in the solar energy industry. This stock is at the forefront of manufacturing photovoltaic crystalline solar cells and related modules in India. Their products are not only powering commercial and industrial solar energy panels domestically but also internationally. This company has transitioned from traditional multi-crystalline solar cells to cutting-edge monocrystalline silicon PV cells which has improved the efficiency of the solar cells. The market cap of the stock is 2,442 crores. The stock I am talking about is Websol Energy System. Over the years, this company has established a reputation for making highly reliable photovoltaic modules of various domestic, commercial and industrial applications. To meet the demand for solar cells and modules, the company is expanding its solar module capacity to 550 megawatts and solar cell capacity to 2.4 gigawatts. The rising demand for solar power gives a big advantage for the stock. During the fiscal year 2023, the Websol has experienced a temporary setback in the revenue because of the discontinuation of their 250 megawatt cell line. So this move was part of the company's strategy to upgrade to a new mono PERC technology. So despite the production loss during this transition, the long-term benefits are promising. This stock is a big beneficiary of the solar boom. Honestly, the financial doesn't look good for the stock at the moment, but you can keep the stock in your watch list. The next stock is a global leader in end-to-end -end solar engineering, procurement and construction solutions. This company is backed by Reliance Industries. This stock has an impressive portfolio as a global leading solar EPC solutions provider. They are currently executing one of the India's largest PV plants in Gujarat. The market cap of the stock is 12,340 crores. The stock I am talking about is Sterling & Wilson Renewable Energy Limited. So what exactly does Sterling & Wilson Solar offer? Everything you need from a solar project from design to operations and maintenance, whether it's utility, scale, rooftop or even floating solar power projects, they have it all. They also do solar energy storage solutions. This company is a global player with offices in over 28 countries. This company is the number one solar EPC player in Australia. The revenue mix shows a strong domestic presence with 81% coming from domestic EPC projects, 10% from international EPC projects and 9% from operations and maintenance. In terms of the geographical split, Australia accounted for 40% of its revenue and the USA 22% and other regions for remaining 38%. They have also been securing new projects, including one of the largest floating solar module projects in India, totaling rupees 2,421 crores. The current stock price is 528 rupees. At present, the financials doesn't look good for the company, but I would say there is so much potential for this company. So keep the stock in your watch list.